Hi, Aries. Man, you guys have been patient for your reading. You're the only ones I haven't heard from. So I really appreciate that. The things that are going on. So the irritation is real, but with the irritation, you're also moving in new directions and you're learning about yourself and you're gaining a lot of strength. And with this comes stability with the strength. I don't know who it is that irritated the hell out of you, but they have no idea who they're messing with right now. <laughs> like, let's just put it that way. You guys have this um, Ace of Pentacles and strength. You guys have this energy about you right now that's like, I know that life has so much for me. I'm not going to let anybody stand in my way. And that's really fantastic. Now, let's not do it bitter. Let's not do it like, you know, this is me. This is me. This is all for me and not for you and get angry with people. That's not the point. This is about allowing yourself to heal through the strength, allowing yourself to heal through all of those tribulations that you already went through. Now is the time. Two aces flanking the strength card is huge. So we have the ace of cups. And this is the thing is you've been working on filling that cup up. You've been working on allowing yourself the strength to move forward in all areas of your life. So, let's see. Deep breaths. It's all good stuff, Aries. It's all good stuff. It is time to move forward. You could be dealing with a Leo energy or a Cancer energy, but um, that, I mean, it's time, it's time to just go. Like, whatever it is that you literally want to manifest in your life right now, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Jupiter is moving direct in a couple of days. And because it's been trying to your Chiron, and it's been trying to the sun, you have this energetic field around you of, like, not, you can't, you cannot be stopped. There's absolutely no way that you can be stopped right now. I mean, this is going to be such an easy reading. And the really interesting thing is, is I feel like the reason why, yeah, don't stop. The feel, the, I feel like the reason why, you guys, I haven't heard much from you is um, because you know that you can't push the energy to work for you. It'll just work against you if you keep pushing on it. Right? And right now, you're not pushing on anything. You're just, there's like this open door for you to just go. And then we have the devil and we have the hanged man. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn energy or a Pisces energy. Also, the lessons that you are learning during this time of pushing forward and going, if you feel like they're stopping you or you're getting stuck in any way, shape, or form, just look at it from a different perspective. Like, for example... If you are deciding that you want to start a new business or you're going to be like going for a raise or a promotion or something like that and somebody comes to tell you and they're like, oh, the boss is like really, and this is just a cheesy little example. So but the boss is really, really cranky today. I'm not really sure that you want to go to them and have that talk. In that lesson, you have to ask yourself, because I feel like there will be people that try to get in your way. And I, I don't even feel like they're trying to do it on purpose, but it's almost as if there's like people that are going to show up in your life to illuminate the fears that you have. Like if you have a fear of going to your boss or going to anybody and asking them for anything, somebody is going to show up in your life to show you what that fear is. And they're going to be that mirror for you to heal, right? And that's what this whole month is going to be about. So, um... Allowing yourself to see this from a different perspective as a healing moment and not a moment to get stuck and lost is huge. So let's see. 
what the Ace of Pentacles represents. Whoop. Okay. So we have the Page of Swords and the Five of Swords, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. You got to be honest with yourself because lying to yourself and saying, I can't get this, even though it's being presented to you, lying to yourself and saying, I'm not good enough, or I'm not ready, or I'm this, or I'm that, lying to yourself, or even somebody saying something to you that makes you doubt yourself in any way, shape, or form is going to bring that hanged man energy. Don't doubt what the universe, what it's already your birthright. To be abundant. Don't doubt what the universe is presenting to you right now. Because there's a huge opportunity um, for you to travel, for you to move, for you to just move forward in whatever situation it is that you want to move forward in. Um, relationships, jobs, environment. All of it. You're being so supported right now. So let's see what this strength card. Yeah. And it's the rebuilding of it. And it's coming together with like-minded individuals also. But don't just be the teacher right now. Also be the student. Or vice versa. Don't just be the student and try to learn from other people. Your strength lies in that duality of being the teacher and the student right now. That's where your strength is going to lie. So life, just let every single person that comes around to you be a life lesson for you. And don't beat yourself up if you slip. You have an Aries moment. You know what I'm talking about when you have an Aries moment where you kind of throw a little fit and lose your cool and then you have to kind of pull yourself together and you're like, oh shit, did I like ruin everything in my life forever? No, you did not. It was a temper tantrum. You can probably fix it. Let's see what this Ace of Cups is. The biggest thing I feel like about this month is loving yourself. Filling up your own cup first. Does it matter who in your life wants things from you right now? Filling up your own cup and focusing on yourself is huge. And I just had deja vu for the second time today doing your reading. I feel like I've said that before. So, yes. And meditation is huge. Also, don't ignore what the universe is trying to give to you. That four of cups on the ace of cups. So in the traditional tarot, Four of Cups is all about like apathy and not seeing that cup coming out of the sky that the universe is trying to give to you. In this deck, which is the spellcast, the modern spellcaster's tarot, um, he's meditating and he's grounded and he is surrounded by his emotions. But I feel like this is a check-in moment. Like it's time for you to check in with yourself. It's really time for you to check in with yourself. Let's see. And make sure you're checking in with yourself on a daily. Because I feel like you're not doing it enough. And um, that may be where the temper tantrums come from. Or that may be where you lose your cool. Um, the Queen of Pentacles on the Chariot. So if you're dealing with an Earth sign or a Cancer who sort of grounds you, I feel like this Earth sign is either coming towards you or you're going to them, like in a physical way. Like you might be traveling to an Earth sign. And it doesn't have to be romantic. It could just be a friend that you're visiting or something like that. But I feel like in order for you to also check in with yourself, you need to be with like-minded individuals or people that truly care about you. And the Queen of Pentacles is a very grounded, caring individual. So it may be that you need to be just around somebody that you know you can trust and count on right now. Because I feel like you're doubting 
the movement forward. And I understand why, because it's like every single time you try to move forward, something stops you or something gets in your way or some sort of situation happens and everything is ruined. And then you have to like reassess, reevaluate and move yourself into a new direction or into a new phase. Um, it's, it's the karmic lessons that you're learning right now. Saturn and Pluto still in Capricorn. Um, you could be dealing, this could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with that you're wanting to um, visit or be around. But um, it could be that this Earth energy is also teaching you some valuable lessons from your past. Let's see what this hanged man is, if we're going to get anything. Nope. So the Six of Cups on the Devil. Karmic lessons. That's all sorts of karma right there. Because this could be from your childhood. It could be from past lives. It could just be from your past. A lot of karmic lessons here. And when these karmic lessons show up in your life, the way to not get stuck within the lesson is to learn it. So if someone shows up in your life and they're telling you some really harsh truths and you don't want to believe it or you don't want to be honest with yourself and be like, yeah, that's really true about me. That's really true about me. That's really true about me. Or that's, you know, I kept thinking that this was an illusion or I kept thinking that this was real when it was an illusion. Getting honest with yourself. And if other people are telling you how to get honest with yourself, Aries, and you're looking at that and you're like, no, I'm going to ignore it. That is one way to get stuck as well. That hanged man... the moon on the hanged man. And this is getting really honest with yourself. Sometimes when you have to go on pause, when you're paused, when you have to be paused, it is you having to look under the surface of things. And that's what the moon is saying. It just got really like eerily quiet here. It's very strange. So still. So I think Aries, one of the biggest things, yeah, one of the things that I really want for you this month is to be, because you have so many fortunate things that you're heading towards. Be super honest with yourself. Oh, man. Yeah. This is not a time to um, doubt where you're headed and what's going on. Because that heartbreak from the King of Pentacles is shifting. You are no longer going to... Going to you're healing from the heartbreak. That Three of Swords energy is going away. And it's going to be um, replaced with love from yourself and honesty from yourself and gifts from the universe and other people in your life that are going to build you up and not tear you down. Like that Three of Swords is showing that it has done too much tearing down. Okay. And then we can manifest that rebuilding the eight of pentacles with the magician and that rebuilding process towards the end of August. I feel like with the new moon in Virgo at the end of August, um, you're going to be able to manifest stronger foundations 
and um, healthier boundaries and healthier foundations. Um, just because you can't see it all coming, right? Two of Swords and the High Priestess. Just because you can't see it all coming right now doesn't mean that you, you don't make the decision to keep moving forward. Because the only way from here is up. The only way to go from here is up. And that's going to be the name of this reading. So I love you guys. Thank you again so much for your patience. And um, the necklace, the necklaces are available on my website. Um, I will be restocking them this evening. So there will be more than just this one. Or there are like four on the website right now. But they are sterling silver spiral pendants. And they have crystals on the inside. And then they are infused with Reiki energy before I send them to you. Um, they're really amazing. They're handmade. Like these spirals are handmade. They're so amazing. And I know you can't really see it here. So go to my website and check it out. All of that information is below. Also, all of my readings through August are 20% off. Um, I am not going to be doing traveling at the end of August. I've had to postpone that for now. So I do have openings starting next week and throughout August. Take advantage of that 20%. It will be over on August 31st. I love you guys. And I and if you would like to get some more updates on what's going on with me, with the channel, with readings, with daily energy readings, um, check out my daily energy readings. The energy readings for the day. Um, check out my daily energy readings. Um, usually I get to them every single day of the week. There are some moments where I've had to take some breaks. But for the most part, we're getting them out daily. So. I love you guys. We'll talk really soon. Bye.